the Tibetan spiritual leader, Dalai Lama, delivered the annual Sadat Lecture for Peace at the University of Maryland in College Park, Maryland on Tuesday, May 7th. The Comcast Center, where the venerated Buddhist monk delivered the lecture, was filled almost to its capacity of 15,000. Here we have some segments for you. It is my great honor to introduce His Holiness, the 14th Dalai Lama. Welcome to the University of Maryland. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Sit down. <laughs> when I give talk, no need of formality. Uh, actually, we are same human being. As a human being, the way we born, the way we die, no formality. Uh, by nature, uh, come and go like that way. Uh, <coughs> so when I uh, I'll start my talk. I always prefer mention elder brothers, I think respected elder brothers and sisters and younger brothers, sisters. We are the same human being. We are part of the seven billion human beings. Each one want happy life. Happy life very much related with peaceful life. Now the question is, we everyone want happy life. Um, then what is happiness? Really long lasting, reliable happiness. That I think we must Kasoda. We must look deeper way. Happiness or joyfulness uh, mainly through sensorial organs, sensorial experiences, seeing something nice, hearing something nice, at a good taste, good smell, good touch. Some kind of joyfulness or satisfaction, uh, pleasure, based on these sensorial experiences, is very superficial. So long these uh, facilities there, you may get some kind of joyfulness, uh, or happiness, or pleasure. But as soon as some sort of negative sound, or very sort of because of that big sound, disturbed sound come. They're no longer there. I am very, very so happy and a great honor to talk on and was sort of lecture for peace. Lecture for peace. For peace, no? Lecture for peace. So I when uh, uh, so he, as president, and took really decisive, bold sort of steps to create peace on that part of the world. I'm one of the admirers from distance. I really admire. So now today, I met uh, his widow. I'm really happy. Great honor. As soon as I met her, I expressed, I'm from distance, one of the admirers 
of her late husband. I always carry this, this hat. One American, now he's no longer with us. He gave me this. I always see, uh, carry this because of the strong light. Sometimes you see uh, quite uncomfortable, my eye. So now, whenever I got this, this kind of new hat, since my childhood, I always love new things. So now this new hat. <laughs> And I also see how teasing is telling those young, young ladies. You spend a lot of money for as a cosmetics wear, cosmetics. cosmetic work. Hmm? Sometimes your husband may complain. I think too much expensive. In any way, in any way, you see the uh, external beauty is important. That more, but more important is. Inner beauty. Some sort of. Oh. So, be, make a beautiful face, but angry face <laughs> would be nice. <laughs> Even not my sort of makeup, but genuine smile, genuine affection, that's real beauty. Ancient uh, Hindu tradition, I think at least over 3,000 years. A Sandhya philosophy, one part of that philosophy, no concept of creator. And they follow that tradition, Jainism and Buddhism. These three traditions, no concept of creator. So there's big differences. And within a non-believer of creator, uh, still you see differences. Concept of permanent, independent soul or self, or no such independent, permanent self. There are differences. So, what then? What is the purpose of these different philosophical views? If we objectively analyze all these different philosophical views are different way of approach to achieve compassionate person, sensible person. For his commitment as a simple priest to the spiritual life of his people and inspiring people of all backgrounds worldwide, for his vigorous dedication to the simple joys of human compassion, interfaith harmony, and respectful dialogue. For his dedication to nonviolence and advocacy of international peace, tolerance, and mutual respect that earned him the Nobel Peace Prize. And because he retains his ability to laugh in the midst of his mission. University of Maryland President Wallace D. Lowe now confers upon Tenzin Gyatso, His Holiness the 14th Dalai Lama, the honorary degree Doctor of Humane Letters. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you much. Thank you. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I think perhaps I think with governor, I would like to practice as the Karsa.
Maori's practice. New Zealand native people, their tradition is touch nose. <laughs> <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.